my dear students competitive chemistry need advance all state emphasis focus calculate the spin only magnetic moment of browning complex to browning complex no this question related to practical chemistry at the same time we have 15th group elements so which is going to use to identify the nitrate ions in a given salt to identify the nitrate anions in a given salt that is browning test is the confirmation test to identify the nitrate ions okay okay what is the formula of browning feh 25 no so for nitrosyl ferrous sulfate okay this is the formula now we can dissociate in water what happen feh 25 no plus 2 plus so for minus 2 we can write okay you know sulfate charge is minus 2 so this must be plus 2 so i am going to write this is plus 2 this is so for minus 2 okay now i want to calculate the oxidation state of iron okay if say let the x h2o neutral i can the charge is 0 x plus 5 into h2o 0 nitrous no plus 1 that is plus 1 is equal to 2 you have to equal to 2 the charge present on complex is 2 so this is x this is 5 into this is 0 plus no plus 1 is equal to 2 what happen x 5 into 0 0 plus 1 x plus 1 is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 so if you want f plus 1 so oxidation of fe how much we have plus 1 F E atomic number twenty six configuration three D six four S two actually F E configuration three D six four S two now I want F E plus one now remove one electron from S orbital now I can write three D six four S one three D six four S one three D six four S one three D six four S two converted to three D six four S one in F E plus one okay but here is a this is a weak field again. This is a strong field ligand, weak field ligand, weak field ligand, and strong field ligand. At of the configuration, the configuration may be converted to Fe plus 3d7, 3d7. So this is a weak field, H2O weak field ligand. This is a strong field ligand because of the attacking of strong field ligand, and weak field ligand on electron configuration. The configuration may be turned to the yes, electron entering to. d orbital so d electronic configuration 3d7 please note it 3d7 if you can observe very keenly 3d7 how many unpaired electrons are there 1 2 3 energy equal to 3 if you know the number of unpaired electron either you can write mu is equal to of n into n plus 2 if you substitute n 3 into 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is nothing but 5 5 into 3 root 15 bohr magneton is the right answer for browning spin complex magnetic moment root 15 again i am going to say here s orbital is over now here in this complex if you see 4s orbital empty 4p empty 4d empty so 4s we can accommodate Two low, one lone pair, four p, three lone pair, four d, two. So total yes, p three d two can here six ligands are there. This is five, this is one. So now we are going to here four s orbital is vacant because four s electron enters into three d. So four s vacant, four p vacant, four d also vacant. Here four s, four p, four d. Now we are going to How many ligands are there? Six ligands. Each ligand will contribute one lone pair. So sp3 d2 hybridization. Please note it. If they ask question regarding what the con hybridization present in Browning sp3 d2 hybridization. 4s orbital, 4p orbital, 4d orbitals. If you see very carefully. So s1 orbital, 3p orbital, d. Two orbitals, so sp3 d2. At the same time, again they may ask another question: How many unpaired electrons are there in Browning complex? So three unpaired electrons are there. Please note it. Like, share, subscribe to get more clear-cut chemistry. Thank you.